Kim's. Hello and welcome to the Hymns video on creating an email account. You can launch the email program with the shortcut hotkey, function key 1, and the letter E. But I'm going to get to the email program by going to the start menu first and going through the menus. To go to the start menu, I'm going to press function key 1 and you will hear file manager spoken as the first choice in the start menu. File manager F. Now I'm going to scroll down through my menu. Word processor W. Document reader K. Email E. And when I get to email, I'm going to press enter. You must create at least one mail account from the accounts manager in the tools menu. Open a hitbox. Hitbox is empty. No items. List item. So we got several bits of information there. Because there is not an email account created on this Braille Sense, I was told that I need to create an email account. And I was told that my inbox is empty, which makes sense since I don't have an email account on this Braille Sense. So let's fix that situation. I'm going to use the shortcut Enter plus M to jump to the Accounts Manager menu. Account name, no items, list item. Now, the Braille Sense is telling me that there are no accounts to display, which is true because there are no accounts that have been created on this Braille Sense. So I'm going to press the tab key or function key three until I get to add an account. Information common dialog button. Add common dialog button. Now if I kept pressing tab, I would go to other buttons that would let me modify or delete existing email accounts. But for this video, I'm going to press enter on add an account. Server type manual one five list item. Our first choice is a list of server types that we can choose from. If I choose manual, I'm entering in all the information necessary to set up my email server. But the U2 has four popular servers already created for you with the most popular spec uh, with the most popular specs for each of those server types. So if I scroll down using my scroll buttons, Google two five list item. If I'm going to set up a Gmail account, then I could set, I could choose Google for my server, and a lot of my information would already be filled in. If I continue to scroll down, Outlook three to five list item. We have the most popular settings for Outlook already set up. Yahoo four five list item. Same with Yahoo. Iclid five five and list item. And the same with iCloud, which we mispronounce as iCloud. For this in, for this video, I'm going to scroll up to my Gmail account which will have some of my settings already entered in for me. If I did not know a lot of my settings or if I wanted to change them or anything along those lines, I could always choose manual. Yahoo 4 or 5, Outlook 3 or 5, Google 2 or 5, list item. Now I'm going to press my tab key to fill in the other required information. Account name, Google, edit box. For the account name, I could right over Google and put another account name in. I could name this anything, Dave's email or him's email. It's just the way that the account is referred to on the Braille sense. I'm fine with the account being called Google, so I'll leave it alone. And now I'm going to use my scroll buttons to go to my next field. Display name, edit box. The display name is the name that other people will see when you send them an email. So I'm Dave, so I'm going to type in Dave. Dave. Now I continue to scroll down to my next choice. Log on username. Computer edit box. Your log on username is usually your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my log on username. And after I finish typing on my logon username, I'm going to press my scroll down button. Password, computer edit box. Now, the Braille Sense asked me for com said computer edit box for the password. If I'm using UEB, I will not have to use computer Braille. For that matter, if I'm using UEB, I will never have to use computer Braille on the Braille Sense. I'm going to type in my password. And when I'm finished typing my password, I'm going to scroll to the next choice. Email address, computer edit box. 
even though you've typed in your logon username, you do have to fill in your email address again. So I'll enter in my email address. Frame accent. Oops. Uppercase. Four. Default mail server. POP3. Radio button. And I use my scroll down button to move to my next field after I write my email address. I use the backspace to go over a couple of mistakes in the process of writing it. Um, and I do have the ability to for the default server to either use POP3 or, or IMAP. And I can change between the two by using the spacebar. The differences between POP and IMAP are beyond the scope of this video, but it's worth noting that we do support both POP and IMAP. For this example, I'm going to switch back to POP. POP3, radio button. And I'm going to use my scroll buttons to move down to my next field. Incoming POP3 server, pop.mail.com, computer edit box. And it already has pop.gmail.com filled in. This is what you're going to be using in almost all situations with a Gmail account, so I will leave that alone and move to the next field. Outgoing SMTP server, smtp.mail.com, computer and, edit box. And the SMTP server is already filled in, and that's because we chose Google as our server type a long time ago uh, when we were setting up this account. I'm actually at the bottom of list of choices until I go into the advanced menu, which I do want to do for this video. I could just tab over to save at this point and have the account saved, but I do want to show some of the advanced settings. So I'm going to press my tab key, which is function key three. Advanced button. And we're going to press enter on advanced. Use secure POP3, pop SSL, checkbox checked. This is, a, uh, this is asking me if I want to use uh, secure SSL for my POP3 server. Google does usually want me to. If I did want to uncheck this box, I can use my space bar. Use secure POP3, pop SSL, checkbox unchecked. And the braille display would now show on the very left side, use CHB for unchecked box. I can press that space bar again. Use secure POP3, pop SSL, checkbox checked. And now the box is rechecked and it says, and the braille display shows an S CHB to show that the checkbox has been selected and checked. I'm going to use my scroll down buttons to move to the next field. POP3 port number 995, computer edit box. And PO, the, PO, the POP port number is going to be 995 when you were setting up a Gmail account, so we'll leave that alone. Again, if I was using UEB at this point, which we all will be in the very near future, I would not be asked for computer braille. SMTP encryption type, TLS, radio button. I moved to the SMTP encryption type by using my scroll down buttons. I could change this from TLS. None, radio button. To none. SSL, radio button. Or to SSL, just using my space bar. I'm going to leave it. TLS, radio button. On TLS, since that's what we are already had it set to. Again, I use my scroll down button to move to the next field. SMTP port number 587, computer edit box. And by default, the SMTP port number is set to 587. If you're going to change any of these, you want to check with your network administrator first. SMTP username, the Santos is Acmail 4 com computer edit box. So here we have the uh, username, which I do not have to type in. Uh, Google usually wants me to, so I do have the username already filled in and it's saved it from my email address. SMTP password, computer edit box. And I used my scroll down buttons to go to the SMTP password, which is filled in on my Braille sense. Uh, and you're seeing a bunch of stars if you're looking at the LCD screen. Use as default set from account. Checkbox unchecked. One of our last choices is use this account is our default send from account. It is unchecked by default. I can press the space bar to check this. I can have multiple email accounts set up on the Braille Sense, and I can choose which account will automatically be used when I go to create a new email. So if I was going to all, all so if I was going to always use my Google account, I would check this box just by pressing the space bar. Email copies on server. Checkbox checked. My next choice allows me to keep email copies on my server. 
so that if I delete an email from my inbox and it's still on the server, it's going to come right back. Save mail copies and sent mailbox. Checkbox checked. The next choice will allow you to save sent mail in your sent items. This can be really convenient if you're wanting to go back and see if you sent something a couple days after you thought you did. Save mail copies and sent mailbox. Checkbox checked. All right, we would edit that last one out. We are now at the bottom of this list of choices. There are a couple of more things that we can do that we're, I do want to show you. So I can press my tab key. No signature, no radio button. I can use a signature if I press the space bar and change this to yes. When I press my tab key, it will allow me to write a signature that will become my default email signature. And actually, we'll go ahead and do that. Yes, radio button, signature button. And now the signature button, when I press enter. Signature, multi-line edit box. And I pressed enter on that button, and now I can simply write my signature. Dave Wilkinson. Great. Guy. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So now I can tab. Confirm. Button. And I press enter on confirm. Signature. Button. And now I'm back at the signature button, and I'm going to press tab. Confirm. And now I'm going to press enter on the confirm button, which will save this email account. Advanced button. Actually, that's, that's saved my advanced settings, and I'm going to press tab one more time. Confirm button. The confirm button, and this last press of the confirm button, which is three if we've been counting, will save my new email account. Successfully added account. Account name, Google one one, list item. And there you go. And now to close out of my email program, I'm going to press a Z in the space bar, which is dots one, five, six in the space bar. No items. List item. Which took me back to my inbox, which is still empty because I haven't checked for my email yet. And that's all there is to it. Happy emailing, and thank you for watching.